Okay, guys, just want to talk to you real quick. Um, I've had an issue lately with the smoker. It's nothing major, but it is something that I need to address, and I want to let you guys in on what's going on. So if you are planning on a build, you can fix it or take care of it somehow. Um, I'm having issues with, if I'm not careful, how the smoker's setting, the moisture with it having a water pan. Uh, the moisture actually collects on the grate and runs down the front and you can see how it's kind of rusting here because it'll collect run down the grate and then start dripping down um, so you can really see it I've cleaned up some of it on the door jam here um, but it's something that just needs to be fixed uh, if you guys know you're going to be sitting level then you can just run it with a little bit of slope to the back so that it collects and runs down the back rather than sitting there. Part of it is because it is level, so it's going to sit there and collect, and then it'll drip down. I think that's part of the reason my seals are going out. You can kind of see how it's a rust color, except for up here at the top. It's still pretty clean up top, so I'm hoping that fixes it. Um, but rather than me go in and cut all this stuff out, what I'm going to do, because I'm on a trailer and I don't know where I'm going to be sitting if I do go mobile, um, there's four little bolt holes back here that were on the trailer that were for the lights. You could have them flush with the back like you got it, like I have it, or pulled up some. So I'm going to get some of those leveling jacks that you see on RVs, the scissor jacks, and put one on each side here in the back. So it'll be right behind the light over there, and then one over here. So then I'll, in a sense, have a tripod with the scissor jacks back here and the tongue jack up there so I can control how it's sitting so that I have some fall going this way because my drain's back here and then some fall going downhill to the back so that all the condensation runs to the back. Kind of the same thing how I've got the pitch on the roof or on the ceiling in this. Um, kind of mimic that. So that was the main thing. But, well that wasn't the main thing. That was my main issue. Um, but other than that, the smoker is done. It's painted. I've got, you see the two little dents back here where the thermometers are sticking through. Um, I've got the latch painted this silver. Uh, to be honest, it's gonna change because you can see up here, everywhere it touches for locking in, it's rubbing off the black paint onto the silver which I expected to happen, but not as bad as what it's doing now, how it's already going. So I'm probably gonna paint those guys black. And then I think this is gonna get a coat of chrome rather than this metallic that's on there. Um, just something I had laying around. Tried it, not a big fan of it just because it, I mean, it does stand out, so that's good, but I want it to kind of be the focal point, but We've got some chrome on the thermometers and chrome on the latch back here. So I'm gonna try some chrome on the handles here. So, and if that doesn't turn out good because that chrome paint's kind of finicky, I may just go white and then when the trailer tires, trailer wheels get painted, we'll paint those white too, so. But other than that, everything's done on the smoker. I did my finish welds. Kind of did some revamping of the damper here. Um, I had to weld the little end piece on. It's just another piece of angle that's boxing the ends of that so that it doesn't slide out. But other than that, the smoker is pretty much done. Um, you can see some of the weld imperfections where it wasn't ground enough or it was ground too much so that's part of the reason I didn't spray it I just did a roller 
because I didn't want to get super crazy about it when I knew it wasn't going to be perfect anyways. Um, but turned out pretty good where I had the sheets going across. Now where the door is and I've got the butt welds that I had to grind down. You can see some imperfections, but it's fine for what I'm doing. It's mainly going to be around the house, kind of travel here and there for stuff, but like the way it turned out, it's two coats of the Rust Oleum High Temp Barbecue Black Paint. Um, went on surprisingly well. Just a little six inch, three eighth snap foam roller. Took care of it. Um, we'll see how it holds up to the heat. Put it on pretty thick, so hopefully I don't have any rust issues. That's, I've had that issue in the past with it. So, we'll see how it goes. Um, but other than that, this is pretty much done. I've got, like I said, some trailer stuff to work out. And then that big sheet of aluminum back there is going to eventually make a water tank on the back of here. But um, speaking of that, here's my new setup. I don't know if you guys have seen this yet or not. Um, but the three quarter that's going off to the right has got a garden hose hookup so I can just crack it and run some water in. Yeah, pretty happy with it. Smokes well. Um, gonna get some cheap scissor jacks, make it to where I can level it out. Hopefully I don't have the rust issues or any of that. and Repaint this bad boy. But this is pretty much finished. I've got some other projects on the way here soon. So stick around. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.